Hi there, my name is Alexander and I work for the Dr. HD company. Back in 2015, I introduced the satellite finder meter Dr. HD 1000S and then the 1000 combo in 2016. These models offer real-time spectrum, satellite ID function, proof of performance reports, constellation, signal metering and much more. All of that for an unbelievable price. If you've seen my video about the 2015 model, then you'll notice significant differences in the 2017 and 2018 models, as software and hardware have improved a lot since then. Now, I want to show you our new model, the Dr. HD 500 combo. It is a satellite and terrestrial meter and signal finder. It was announced by the Dr. HD company in January 2018 at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Firstly, Let's see what's included. The device itself, a car charger, an AC charger. Last but not least, there is an adapter from an F connector to SMA. This is needed to connect the 3G, 4G and LTE antennas. But more about the cell and mobile internet installations later. The box states that you need to have an Android device to operate the Dr. HD 500 combo that is, an Android-based phone or tablet. You can download the Android application by scanning the QR code. It's easy to see the difference compared to the 1000 series models. The new meter has no screen, which is why an Android tablet or smartphone is needed. There are no wires, we use Bluetooth for the connection. The new version now has touch screen operation. It is much smaller and lighter, yet all the cool Dr. HD functions are still there. Satellite ID, signal metering, proof of performance, reports, and the awesome real-time spectrum, as always for Dr. HD. A smartphone's internet connection and GPS allow us to download fresh transponder lists, etc. But more about these functions later. Okay, let's check out the Dr. HD 500 combo and plug it in. Let's scan the QR code and get the link. Open the file, install. Installation is quick, no more than one minute. The application is installed. Before you start, you must pair the meter with your Android device. Turn on the Android phone or tablet. Go to the Bluetooth settings, search. After we see the Dr. HD 500 combo, we enter four zeros. The pairing is complete. Once the pairing is done, open the application and click connect. Here, we have the option to connect to the signal finder and meter. All right, connection is established. We've connected a satellite dish. The first step is to choose the satellite that we need to set up. Select the transponder and the type of LNB that we have if needed. Basic settings are done. Now let's go to spectrum mode. We see Dr. HD's cool live spectrum in real time. Please note that by selecting different polarizations, we will get different spectrum pictures. That is, the spectrum will be different for all four subbands. Here, we can adjust the spectrum level. We can change the level up and down to display correctly. There is also a span function. We can zoom in and zoom out so we can see just the required span of frequencies. And here's the king of all the functions, satellite identification. Just touch the SAT ID tab. The device will read the technical streams and display the satellite and broadcaster name. Right now, we're getting the signals from the hot bird satellite. Once we are sure which satellite it is, we can go to measurements. Here, we can evaluate the quality of the antenna installation. Also, we can clearly see whether we have enough signal for good reception in bad weather conditions. The first parameter, RSSI, is the signal level. The typical reliable level is between 50 and 100 decibel microvolts. What are the factors here? Basically, everything matters. Cable length. The longer it is, the lower the signal. Cable quality. Passive multi-switches. DISEQC. Splitters, they all lower the value. If the level is below 50 decibel microvolts, you should improve it. Either replace the cable or install an active multi switch instead of passive, add a line amplifier, etc. 
The next important value for antenna fine tuning is CN, carrier noise. The higher the value, the better. It means we have more surplus of useful signal compared to noise. Additionally, we can estimate the surplus of signal for bad weather. The scale is coloured red and green. The border between these two colours is the level of signal which is just enough to start to show a picture. Therefore, the larger the green part, the greater surplus of signal we have in case of heavy clouds, rain, etc. And we want that green bar to be big enough in that case. That value is often called link margin. Typically, it should be 6 decibels or better. Right now, the link margin is good enough to make the installation weatherproof. Let's see what the link margin value will be for another transponder. The link margin for this transponder is a bit less than normal. So in this menu, we can maximise the carrier noise value. The higher the value, the better setting we have. You can estimate the quality of reception and the reserve for bad weather. Let me remind you, the recommended link margin value is 6 decibels or more. The RSSI value is the signal level coming from the cable. It should be 50 decibel microvolts or better. We have entered the measurement screen from the spectrum screen, but we can also go to the measurement menu directly from the main menu. The next icon in the main menu is reports. This gives summary details of all the transponders of the selected satellite right on your phone's or tablet's screen. The signal level of each responder, the signal quality, as well as link margin for the bad weather. These reports are a useful database of the installation's details. Also, it may be used by supervisors to see the quality of performance of the installers, and also as proof of performance that installations are done according to company standards. The next awesome thing is that it is possible to update the database of satellites and transponders online. Let's do it! Firstly, we can easily select the geographical location, for example, Australia. You will get a list of satellites that are available for reception at this longitude, and then select the ones you want. If installation is at a different longitude, for example here, you'll get a completely different list of satellites and transponders. Let's say we want to update the database of the transponders of the Hot Bird satellite. Select Hot Bird, Download the current list. Done. Transponders updated. Now it's time to fine tune the terrestrial antenna. To do this, go to the transponders menu and select the MUX tab. MUX means multiplexes. Select the frequency you want to tune to. Now go to the spectrum mode. We can see all the frequencies in real time and we can easily see the frequencies with a real signal. We can bring the frequency marker to the peak and we can see what the centre frequency is there. For example, 562 MHz now. Here, we can reduce or increase the signal level to ensure that the spectrum is displayed correctly and fully. With the help of the span function, we can zoom in to see more of the transponder details. Here, in the spectrum mode, we can adjust the TV antenna and select the direction from which the maximum signal level is coming. Let's go into measures. Here we see the carrier noise reading. The greater the value, the better the DVB T stroke T2 signal. Also, you can see here what channels are being broadcast on this frequency. Another popular use of the device is 3G, 4G and LTE antenna installation. We can not only maximize the level of the signal, but we can also easily see which cell operator provides better coverage in the area. For GSM stroke mobile internet installation, go to the transponders menu, select the GSM tab and select the range or the frequency. Go! If you like, you can adjust the spectrum level up and down. As always, we can use the span function to zoom in to have a closer look. Look, here we see three cell operators. Provider A, Provider C and Provider D. It's easy to see that maximum signal level and coverage are provided by cell company A and cell company C. 
We can choose another range, 1800. We can see which operators are present here. Provider A has a decent signal level and Provider C has a maximum signal level. It's very easy to adjust the antenna to the maximum signal level. It's easy to see what providers are active in the area and which providers have the best signal level. Here is the first overview of functionality and capabilities of the Dr. HD 500 combo model. Perfect for satellite, terrestrial and for 3G, 4G and LTE installations. Palm sized, easy to use, rich in functions, extremely cost effective for the end user. To be continued. Please comment and tell us what else you'd like us to show. My plan is to set up outdoor satellite and terrestrials. Also, I will show you how easy it is to install 3G, 4G and LTE antennas with the Dr. HD 5.0. Please subscribe to see more new functions and